445. Explain why the molar enthalpies of vaporization of the following substances increase in this order. So we have methane, which is CH4, has the least molar enthalpy of vaporization, then comes C2H6, and then comes C3H8. And then they say, even though the type of IMF, which is intermolecular force dispersion, is the same. Okay, so let's just write this out. We have CH4 has the least dispersion forces, then comes C2H6, and then comes C3H8. All right, so we're just going to say over here that CH4 has the lowest, right? So it has the lowest dispersion force, dispersion forces. And as you go from C2H6 to C3H8, you have an increased amount of dispersion forces. Now, the answer lies here if we just quickly draw the Lewis structures. So CH4 has one carbon in the middle surrounded by four single bonds, and they're all bound with an H, 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 H. So these have the least dispersion forces. Then comes C2H6. There are two carbons in the middle surrounded by three hydrogens on both sides, making the C2H6. And just know that if you don't know where these Lewis structures are coming from, you could always go back and check the channel out. We have a lot of videos just teaching you how to write the Lewis structure. So this is kind of like a little bit of an overview. C3H8, we have three carbons in a line, because remember, hydrogens can never be in the middle. And then I just need to put eight hydrogens around. So I'll have three here, another three on the end here. And then I have two in the middle. That's the total of eight. And CH4 has the least number of dispersion, which then comes C2H6, then comes C3H8. Now, if I just quickly highlight the surface area of each molecule, it seems like I'm just going to do like a quick rough outline. This would basically be the surface area of CH4. And as you're moving, seems like it gets a little bit bigger for C2H6, and then for C3H8, it seems like you have the highest surface area. So in this stage of the game, you have the low, you know, the lowest area in the in the green circle. So you have the lowest surface area, and you have the highest surface area here. Now, one of the reasons is that the less surface area that you have to cover, the less amount of dispersion forces. And that's why you have the lowest molar enthalpy of vaporization. If you have the least surface area, it's very easy to convert to a gas because you don't have a lot of space to cover. But over here, if you have a high surface area, you have much more to cover. You need a lot more energy to convert to gas. So this would be harder to convert to a gas. And the easier that it is, this means that your molar enthalpy of vaporization would be the lowest. And since this is really, really hard, the harder it needs to do, you need a lot of energy to get to the same, you know, destination. So if it's really, really hard, your energy is shooting up. So this should be, this should be an EN over here. Just realize that. N, thou, P, yep. So N, thou, P, of vaporization. Now also, I just want to point out here that even though 
all three of these are nonpolar. That's why they only have dispersion forces. You can go by the increased surface area, but also it plays hand in hand with the molar mass. If you counted up the molar mass for just CH4 versus C2H6 versus C3H8, you have way more molar mass on the periodic table than if you had for CH4. So lower the surface area, lower the you know, molecular weight or the molar mass or whatever you want to talk about. So we'll just say lower molar mass. And the same thing here, highest surface area, highest molar mass. So it all kind of comes together. Basically, the higher the molar mass, the higher the enthalpy of vaporization. However, I want to just stress this, that this is only for if you have molecules that have the same types of intermolecular forces. If you're tackling on different intermolecular forces, this kind of theory as to how it's ranked kind of goes out the window. But for this case, since they all were nonpolar, they all just had dispersion forces, the higher the molar mass, the more surface area, the higher the enthalpy of vaporization, and that also means that this would also be the higher boiling point if you wanted to talk about that as well, just to kind of put that in there. So there you go. I hope this makes sense. What do you think? Let me know in the comments. Love talking to you guys. I hope you're having a great day out there. Keep studying hard. I'm proud of you guys. Good luck on your testing quizzes, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.